Hey, we're doing bleach art. Let's go. Let's get started. Okay, so these are the sweatshirts. Gray, black, and kind of like a warm gray. Make sure you're wearing an outfit you don't care about because this is the whole point, is the bleach lightens the fabric. I just grabbed some brushes, different sizes. I filled this vase up with bleach. This is just regular household bleach. I do realize this looks like a drinking glass, so make sure you don't accidentally drink the bleach. Out the door with my supplies, I remembered that I just organized my art drawer and I found these stencils. There's a rose from when I painted roses all over a wall. These ones are older. I don't really think I've used them very much. There's like animal print, polka dot, daisy. I use this sweatshirt as a test run because it's my least favorite. And I'll probably start off with some stencils on this one. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area because bleach is poisonous if you inhale a bunch of it. Yeah, it didn't really keep the boundaries very well, so I don't think you're really gonna be able to tell it's a rose, but this is our experimental one, so we'll just continue on. I'm sure that first one's a rose. It's hard because you can't see what you just painted. Trying new things is so funny because really the more new things you try, the more often you're going to fail. So it's really quite courageous to try new things. I was just talking about that with my sister-in-law because my nephew is similar to my side of the family where we want to be perfect and we get really discouraged when we're not. And that's okay, as long as you don't give up. Because sometimes having really high expectations for yourself or almost all the time is a good thing but there are instances where it's not realistic, especially for skills that take time for mastery. It's like, who do you think you are that you're just gonna be a master the first time you try it? No one is. So when you splatter, you can flick the brush, but it has a lot of overspray. So I find if you get it super, super wet, and then you take another brush and you hit it. One thing I've learned is to not overwork your art. Cute. Okay, we're gonna use this as our inspo to do one sparrow or two sparrows. I don't want to do two. Pray for me that it looks like a sparrow, otherwise we're gonna have to dump a bunch of bleach over this. I see it working already. Okay, so I've got the base design of the first sparrow on there. I'm gonna go in and do the second one and then add a bunch of details. I'll show you after. is really developing to this like interesting rust tone. I added some hearts and splatters. Now that it's turning really light, I can see where I want to touch up, like that little blemish by the wing there. And I don't really like these hearts for some reason. I think I want some drips on this, so I'm going to dump some bleach onto it. So I just dumped a bunch of bleach on the back and now I'm making like an interesting pattern by letting it like run across. I'm hoping it doesn't soak through. I think this wouldn't work as easily on like a t-shirt because it would be more porous. I'm gonna leave these overnight and check on them tomorrow. I'm not really paying attention to the time, but I'm sure it will develop. Okay, so the gray ones didn't do anything, but 
this one worked really well and it turned it actually gray beyond the rust tone. Our second sparrow got a little bit murdered in the process, which is unfortunate because I really loved its wings, but I think it looks really cool. This is the back. I haven't washed it yet, so it really smells like bleach. So this is left overnight. Baby Jane.